Let me ask you this. Are you one of those creators like myself who struggle to create their own motion graphics? Or even if you do know how to, sometimes you get those projects that you need to finish up as soon as possible. If so, today's video is all about that. Today we're gonna talk about Toko Graphics 4.0 by Motion Ken. So one thing about this graphics pack is that it is fully loaded with over 2250 graphics packs and the nice thing about that is they are fully resizable and you can customize them as you wish. And another thing that I like about this plugin is that it comes fully loaded with over 600 sound effects. So it saves me time because now I don't have to outsource or go out search on other platforms like YouTube for me to find the right sound effect for a certain effect that I'll be using. Another nice thing that I like about this is that it caters to everyone. Whether you create content for social media or you make music videos, everything is included in this package. And the first thing that caught my eye when I first opened this plugin is how well organized the templates were. And to be honest, as an organized person myself, it really made it easy for me to reach out to anything that I wanted to use at that particular moment. And there's nothing more stressful than going on YouTube and try to find the best motion graphics out there only for you to come across something that's 1080p or even at 720p sometimes. But the nice thing about this graphics pack is that it supports up to 4K resolution. The only downside to this plugin is that it's only for DaVinci Resolve. So you are out of luck if you're using Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro. So in case you're wondering how can you get your hands on this plugin, MotionCan offers two types of licenses, which is the regular license and the extended license. So the only difference between the two is that the regular license only covers for you as a content creator or as a company. But if you're looking to work on a commercial project, you'll have to purchase the extended license. Typography is also included in this plugin and the project titles are designed to make text very easy. And I honestly love how they made all of these easy to use as all you need to do is just drag and drop and you have your settings or your parameters on your side to adjust everything to your liking. When you've downloaded the Toko graphics pack, it's gonna be in a compressed file and all you need to do is just to extract that, go to the extracted folder. And the first thing that you're gonna need to do is go to the readme file and you go down to download used fonts and you just click on all fonts in one archive and then it's gonna transfer you to Dropbox um, site where you're gonna be downloading the fonts. But in this case, I've already downloaded mine. And the next thing that you're gonna do is go to the downloaded fonts. You just copy and paste or just drag and drop the fonts to the fonts folder. And then you're gonna proceed doing the same thing up to the sixth uh, folder. And then you're gonna notice this, there's a download five more folder. And when you go into that folder, you're gonna notice that you only have internet shortcuts. And all you need to do is just do the same thing. Just double click on each of those internet shortcuts and then you download the fonts. And you'll proceed to do the exact same thing of copying the fonts to your fonts folder. And after you've done this, you're gonna go to the installation folder and you're gonna notice that there is two installation, which is the EXC, which is obviously for Windows users and a PKG for Mac users. So in this instance, since I'm using Windows, all I need to do is just double click on the Toko Pack installer and then click next and you obviously accept the license agreement. Click next and then it's gonna install. So 
So when you've done installing the plugin, you're gonna open uh, DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see that I've already opened a project here, which is the intro to this tutorial. And if you've noticed, I've used some of the features that are included in this pack. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is to find where the packs are. So you just go to your effects under titles, you're gonna see Toko Graphics 4.0. And then you just click on the arrow next to it you'd get typography background social media titles and so forth and it's pretty easy basically to use these features let's just break down what i've used here which is my social media handle so you get this with the logo of um, whatever social media you're trying to promote for yourself so in this instance i chose to use my instagram account Hopefully you guys will follow me there. So you find this under social media. And the nice thing that you're gonna notice is that before you even drag and drop whatever title you choose to use, all you need to do is just scroll from left to right so that you can see if it's the right one that you wanna use at that particular moment. So what you need to do is just drag and drop that into your timeline. Um, let me just close this one. And then all you need to do in order to be able to make changes, all you need to do is just go to your inspector tab and you have all your controls here. So say for instance, you want to change the name of your Instagram handle. So all you need to do is just go under edit text and then you just edit your own. So in this instance, I will write mine. And then what you can do as well here is to change the type of font that you want to use. Say for instance, we want to use a different font from what was chosen. Obviously you can change or stylize the font itself and you can change the text size and um, you can make it much wider, which is called text tracking. But let's just leave it as is. So after this, you can also change the color of the text and all you need to do is just go to um, under edit color and just click on this and it's either you choose uh, from these basic colors or you can create your own so for this one i'll just leave it at white and you also have your logo gradients so if you want to change some of the colors on the logo but i'm just going to leave it on the original one and the nice thing as well is that they also have rgb controls which gives you more freedom so the next thing for instance the title is in my face obviously you'll want to move that say for instance we want to put it right at the bottom so all you need to do is under main size which affects the entire thing and then if you want to change the position if you want to bring it to the left or you want to bring it to the right but let's just leave it at the center but now what you want to do is drag this entire thing to be at the bottom and just change the size a little bit My favorite typography is this portfolio animation with a placeholder which allows you to showcase multiple videos or pictures at the same time. I know a lot of people like myself when I started to edit in DaVinci Resolve, Fusion was one intimidating page but this plugin is designed to make sure that you as the user gets the comfortability when editing as you are able to customize it in the inspector tab as well. So now what we're going to need to do the first step is to drag and drop this stretch it so that it fits the timeline and you will notice that the video doesn't show here so all you need to do to replace the logo with your own video or picture is to open it in the fusion page you just right click open in fusion page and then you double click on the animation group so let's just put everything in the center so to replace the logos with your own media you just go to the media tab then drag and drop whatever video 
and then you click OK to replace it. And as you can see that the video is not placed perfectly. So in order to make sure that you adjust this video, all you need to do is just click on position. Go to the inspector tab, double click on position and your controls will appear. And in order to resize it so that it matches perfectly, you just go to size and then adjust it to your liking. And you will do the same thing for all of this. Drag and drop another media, click OK. And you see the flower is not in the right position. So we're just gonna click on position, go to the inspector tab, double click, and then try to put it in the center and then resize it a little. So when you are done with this and you are happy with how your media is, all you need to do is just go back to the edit window. So now you'll see that your videos are appearing as they should. Another interesting thing about this is that if you are working on a 1080p or 4K timeline, but then decide later that you want to change the timeline, all of these are just easily according to whatever timeline with ease and no hassle. So for an example, if we were to take this, kinetic poster as you can see it fits perfectly on the 1080p timeline for an example if you wanted to post this on instagram but we're working on a 1080p timeline now you have to change the resolution to fit um, on the ig stories all you have to do is to change the timeline to 1080p by 1920 and it will easily adjust on the resolution without you having to do anything else so let's go to our settings project settings and then we change the timeline resolution to 1080p by 1920 and then we click OK and as you can see it adjusts perfectly to that timeline without me having to do anything other than changing the timeline resolution Another nice thing about this that I love, which I'm going to use mostly um, for, for, for my music videos or my videos for my social media, are the transitions. And when you want the transitions, all you need to do is just go under your toolbox and then under video transition, um, you're going to see toggle transitions. And here there is only three categories, which is the flat transition, camera transition and overlay transitions. And um don't be disappointed because on each of these categories there is plenty of stuff to choose from as you can see here and then on under um, camera transitions as well there's a lot of stuff that you can choose from so you can just scroll as well before you even drag and drop for instance here i've used the flat transition so originally this transition um, which is the eighth one or the tenth pardon me so let's just put this one here so as you can see when I drag and drop this one it became much shorter than this one that's because the transition are automatically two seconds long however you can still extend them if you want them to be a bit longer by just dragging them uh, to to your left or to your right and another thing that you're going to notice is that okay let me just move this one and just extend this so as you can see that the colors are not the same as the one that it's on my video that's because here i've made some adjustment to match the mood of this video so the nice thing is that you can make changes on the colors to match the mood and you can change them individually they're not attached to each other and I love the fact that they've included the RGB parameters as well so that you are able to control with ease. So when it comes to transitions, they always work best when they have sounds. 
Choco Graphics did not disappoint as they made sure to include sound effects that will match each of their transitions. They made sure to have dedicated folders and you will find this on the installation package under extra material. I have mine stored on my desktop for this time being. As you can see there is plenty of sounds to choose from but the nice thing about this is that they have sound effects which is specifically designed for each transition but obviously it's always a creative choice you can use a different sound effect but in this instance for the sake of demonstration i've used the actual sound effect which is designed for this transition so for me all i need to do is just to remember which transition i've used and then i go under my transitions and try to find the one that i've used you just drag and drop it here but in this instance i've already selected it which is this one and then you go back to your edit tab and under media pool and then you just drag and drop and that's all that you need to do there's camera transitions which is my favorite to be honest which i've used on this part and the nice thing about that as well is like everything else all you need to do is just drag and drop your camera transition and you can extend them so if you want them to be longer you have that freedom as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you find it very informative so if you're keen to buy the plugins i'm gonna leave the links on the description and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video peace out